are looking for some summer activities for the kids, you might want to consider a summer theater program. We have one to tell you about this morning. J.C. Smith, Executive Director of Closed Door Entertainment, is here, and you brought a beautiful guest. This is Alana, correct? She from is. The, little, the character from The Little Mermaid. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, great to have you both here this morning. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for being here. And so this is really a time for kids that maybe you know have expressed an interest in singing or in, in theater, right? You've got a little bit of everything and some great professionals leading this camp. It's true. Yeah, summer camps are a great way for children who um, either they have been in theater or they would like to try out theater without it having to be in their school with all the kids they already know. It's a great chance to kind of test the waters and see what they like. Um, it's also a great opportunity to um, be able to experience the arts in a different way other than just going to see shows, which a lot of schools take their students to do, right. but to actually get to learn everything that goes into it, which we teach at our camp. Right. And I guess, you know, it's probably neat for you to see somebody that might be a little bit intimidated at first, but you said they really, you know, after by the end of the week, really do, most of them come, become quite comfortable. Right? It's true, yeah. And one of my favorite things are when parents bring their kids and they say, now, if you want to give her a part without lines, it's okay. She's very bashful. <laughs> and then she winds up being the one that's the loudest of all. So it, uh, it's always fun to watch and see which children are going to really flourish at it. Right. And this camp is it's an all-day camp, though. It's pretty intense. There's a lot of things that are going on and, and to learn, right? Absolutely. A lot of camps are just half days or just for a few hours, or mm -hmm. they only cover the arts for just a little bit of them. You know, we cover it the entire time. It's a Monday through Friday from 8 until 3, and they cover everything from how to audition, and then they get to audition for The Little Mermaid, um, mm -hmm. and then they'll learn everything from stage combat to makeup design and costume design, set design, technical theater, stage combat, uh, improv, uh, proper breathing, a lot of different things that we teach over the course of it. Some great tools there to absolutely consider, and then the parents get to watch the performance and all the hard work that their kids have put in throughout the week, right? They do. as, as kind of a way to break up both the, uh, the first week and the second week. At the end of the first week, we have a talent show. Right. Um, all of the children, we try to assign them into groups of 10, so that way they all get some kind of private attention uh, with their counselor, and then each group has a talent show the first week, and then the end of the second week, we actually produce um, Little Mermaid Junior for the parents to see. Little Mermaid Junior, I love that. And you're kind of here because the purpose behind this today is that you have not exactly found the Little Mermaid just yet, right? No. So you're the sister in, yes. in this. Tell me a little bit about your character. Um, I'm definitely the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I came here today because we actually need um, a little girl to audition to be my sister. So if you're interested, oh my goodness, please. there's probably a lot of girls out there that are going to see <laughs> yes. this or that are tuning in this morning. So yes. what a great way. So you've been doing this for a while though, right? Yeah, for several I've been years. In for a while. You've been in theater, right? Do you have any um, pointers or tips for someone that might be a little bit nervous about coming? Um, always give everything a try. Just right. never be scared of things. Just how do you feel like that it's helped you? Obviously, I would think that something like this would help you just even later on in life, you know, because if you're put in a situation where maybe you have to later on, you know, apply for a job or for some, mm -hmm. from summer, I would think that it probably brings a lot of confidence. It does. Yeah, it does. All right. Well, great. And tell us where this camp's going to be taking place. Sure. Uh, the entirety of the camp is going to be held at Harrison United Methodist Church. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people tend to uh, hear the word Harrison and assume that it's way out by the bay, but we're actually on this side of it. Um, it's only about five minutes off of Highway 153, so from downtown, it's 15 minutes. From Ringgold, it's less than 20. It's um, it's a really great location to be in. Okay, and it is an all-day camp. As we mentioned, there are some parents that are working, but you said you might even have some extended hours if that needed to, to happen for some parents. Is that we right? We do. We've got a full program. Uh, we can drop off 15 minutes early or uh, pick up 15 minutes late at no additional cost, but we can do an earlier or a later pickup um, if you need to for um, you know, additional fees. Okay, and I did check out your Facebook page. There's a lot of information. Can parents register through the Facebook as well? or If they go through Facebook, they can at least find the link to our website, um, okay. but all the registration registrations all happen on our website. Perfect. Well. And give us that website there. We're going to pull up a graphic as well, but give us the sure. website. It's www.cdoorent.com and then slash CDE camp is a direct link, but that homepage would get you there as well. It'll navigate you right there, won't it? Again, this camp is taking place starting on July the 10th at Harrison United Methodist Church. For, for more information or to register, visit that website right there. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. And we'll be right back.